Welcome to A Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Thank you so very much for tuning in. It's going to be a fabulous show today. We're going to be speaking about a few things in terms of what togetherness can bring out, something so positive, and that's what we're going to touch on. And at the same time, I really am worried about this one person who is coming on the show. My reputation is on a very thin line here. We'll speak more, of course, as we start Date with Danu. And as my first guest on the show, I have someone who has been a great support to me, uh, I think throughout my career. Uh, I think it's not only to me, but to many people who have ever asked him, he has always done in terms of theatre, in whatever capacity, the name Harpo has always supported. Beyond his restaurant career, beyond his hotel career, beyond his DJing career, I think what really goes down is the fact that he's a nice human being. As my first guest, I'm happy to have the well-known Harpo. Hi, I'm Harpo Gundratna from Harpo's Cafes and Restaurants. Danu, everything's Danu, Danu, Danu. Danu on fire, Danu, date with Danu, the newspaper is Danu, it's so much of Danu, and he's just sweetheart. <laughs> So I hope uh, Danu doesn't put me into trouble on the date with Danu. But saying that, yeah, let's see what he says. And it's time for some Harpo on the show. Hello. Hello. And Harpo is not even your real name. Yep. It's like Sarat or something. Mm, do you want me to divulge my <laughs> real name? But you, have you ever said it? Yeah, a few times. Where? Uh, Nobody knows. Interviews, people have asked. And I tell you, just for the record. Uh, Lalit. Lalit. Clarence. My. Piris. Piris. Gunaratna. My gosh. LCP, Ladies College Principal. <laughs> I'm easier. so happy you are as Harpo. <laughs> yeah. How in the world did you How end up as Lalit Harpo? Pizza? I know, that's <laughs> terrible, no? <laughs> Like Lalit will serve like paratha, I think. <laughs> so tell me, how, how did, how did um, Lalit <laughs> become Harpo? Harpo. Mm. If you heard of the Marx Brothers, Harpo, Groucho, Chico, yes, famous like, Marx Brothers. Yeah. And uh, dad called me Harpo when I popped out. Oh, really? Yeah, I looked very much like Harpo Marx. Yeah. Harpo Marx was a comedian, very, okay. by the way, who played piano and he had curly, curly, curly yeah. hair. And he said, this is Harpo. Mm. So in college, everybody called me Harpo. Okay. So why I'm, couldn't they just christen you as Harpo? Uh, that's another story. Yeah. I wouldn't know why that is. But th that's how the name Harpo came okay. about. You know, and I only sign as Lalit. Uh, yeah, probably my bank account okay. or, or, or a check or whatever. But otherwise, nobody actually. People call me sometimes from the bank and say, "Can I speak to Lalit?" I said, "Who?" who? <laughs> Yes. So I forgot. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> that's, that's me. That's me. Yeah, but that's how Harpo came about. All right. So today, uh, you have see, you have worked in hospitality. You have worked as a DJ. How, did this career ever find you, or did you find this career? Uh, I kind of uh, went after this because I always wanted to be with. I'm a, I'm a more more people's person. Okay. See? And I never, I never had carried lots of books to college. I just had one book in my back pocket, and okay. that was it. You know. I carried uh, all the books and failed. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I told my dad to take me out of college and okay. I, I just wanted to follow the path. I've always wanted to be a part of the entertainment and people's business. So hospitality is something I just took to, like the duck taking water. Mm. So I finished college, went to hotel school, did that and then moved around in the five star circuit and overseas as well. Brilliant. Now joining him, uh, see, it's really nice when you have broad and people who can all join under the same roof and speak about the same thing. They're all in similar industries, but they, uh, they have all come together because, you know, we need to create a healthier industry that's when they can all survive. On the other side, I have someone who has a witty sense of humor, who has lost a few kilos these days, trying to look young, and age catches on. On the other side with Dinesh. Hi, my name is Dinesh. I'm the managing director of uh, MSD Capital Holdings. Private Limited. We are the owners and operators of 
the sugar branded restaurants, which is uh, Sugar Bistro and Wine Bar and Sugar Beach, as well as we uh, own and operate Bailey Street Merchants, Kava and Tribe, the club. So I'm here today because Danu asked me to uh, come on a date with Danu. I said, in your dreams. Then he said, no, no, it's, uh, it's serious, it's, uh, it's a program and I would like you to be a part of it. So as a favor to Danu, I, I'm doing this. He owes me a, a lot, not one, many, many more. Um, about Danu, I've known Danu for as long as I've been in Colombo, I think, um, in the recent past, for about 10, 15 years now. And um, decent chap uh, in, in, uh, in public, but uh, in private he is a horrible, horrible fella. Um, he has nothing nice to say to anybody. The only good thing is that he says it to your face. Um, he might come across as really sweet and kind and nice, but he's exactly the opposite to all that. Well, I'm hoping that um, he won't get me into trouble today, nor will it turn out to be a real date with Danu, uh, which I'm not looking forward to if that's the case. But um, I hope uh, we will have a pleasant time together and uh, still be friends at the end of this program. So with me, I have the man behind the um, brand Sugar, now Kava, if you have not been around for a long time in Sri Lanka, I'm sure you'll remember H2O. Uh, H2O. Yeah, and that's of course Dinesh, one part of the H. The two and the O is not here. <laughs> uh, how does it feel for you to not have Gihan next to you? Are you, are you okay? I'm good. I have you there, Nuna. Oh. My new best oh, friend. Well, I, I always knew it. Thanks, Dinesh. Thank you. Um, when you so, asked me to go on a, come on a date with you, I thought all oh, my dreams have come true. Now, oh. yeah, I didn't end up. I didn't expect to end up like this, to be honest. <laughs> Means in but I thought it would be more intimate. Oof. A bit disappointed. Ah, don't worry. You can sit right here <laughs> afterwards. So, Dinesh, tell me how, now. Right. So, I got to know you. Of course, we have a. We are from two different eras. Uh, how did? <laughs> sorry, but how did you like when I met you for the first time? You were H two O. Yeah. Yeah. I used to come there those days. Yeah, that was uh, that was a while ago, 2005. Uh, we started H2O, 2000. Well, we started in 2005. Means I was able yeah. to enter by 2006. Yeah, but <laughs> you're trying to make yourself way too young again. You <laughs> are. Just, you are. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, all right. So, 2005 okay. is when we started H2O. But it was such big news at that time. I know. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, to date, is the only custom-built nightclub this country mm. has ever seen. Yeah. Normally, like if it is in a hotel or a, uh, any other building. People walk into an existing space and turn it into a restaurant or a club or an mm. office or whatever. We built, um, uh, we took a warehouse and uh, Converted turned it, it into, a, into a club. Yeah, yeah it was uh, gorgeous. Went so, off really well. So how did you sort of come into this industry, like finding a place in nightlife? It was so, seen around. Um, that is um, thanks to uh, uh, the person we mentioned earlier, Gihan Fernando, okay. whose family, family has been in this business yeah. for a long time. Uh, we met in Dubai and uh, his, uh, he moved here uh, with the idea, he moved back here with the idea of um, joining the family business and uh, we've spoken about um, doing something on our own for a while and um, so when he came down I came back and joined him and we started, uh, we started a club. Okay. Yeah. And what was that club? Was it H2O? That, that was H2O. Oh, yeah. wow. That was so that H2O. was the start. That okay. was the start, yeah. That's the first okay. time I got into the club business or the entertainment business. Mm. But uh, Gihan has had previous experience in it, so um, there was, um, I wasn't taking a huge risk, I must say. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Well, uh, we will speak more, of course, about uh, their careers and so much more. But on the other side, we have someone fabulous coming in a few minutes on the show. So do stick around. Let's get into a break. It's a date to start. And it's a date with Danu, with Harpo and Dinesh for now. Now, Harpo, when you were in the whole DJing world, there wasn't a setup you all can walk into. You all carried your setup <coughs> wherever you all went. Yeah. How was it? Actually, I started on a push cycle. Oh, okay. I used to cycle to, to discos. A push bike? On a push bike, yeah. What? 
Yeah, because I used to play music down you know, in the south. In the, I'm talking 1980. Okay. You know, so that time there was no LTTs and all. Yeah. Tourism was really kicking at that time. You know, so I used to finish my hotel school, take a bus from uh, the fourth station, get to Alut Kama, uh, put my Walkman on. That time the Walkman was <laughs> yeah. the thing, you know, and get off there, get into a small toilet, have a quick shower, have a hopper in the khade, mm. and put, get out of my push cycle and cycle to Bend to the Beach Hotel. Mm. And then I used to do Neptune. Mm. So, wow. uh, so I finished work, finished DJ at 3.34 in the morning, right. and then take the first bus back to I used to live in Bodlas Kamu, okay. get to school by 7 o'clock, hotel school. So I hardly slept, sometimes sleep on the bus. So that's the, that's the... That's but the why DJing? How did you start So I always your... wanted to do something with music, you okay. know. I, I really like to play drum, but I never learned it. Do I, work, okay. do I work with one of the best drummers this country that ever produced, Gabo, mm. you know. And, uh, but he, it was by accident, you know, I had a friend of mine, she was working with Gabo, and that time Gabo had just set up his travel business. Mm. And he had discos in Nigambo and the South. One disco was called the Cellar Disco okay. in Nigambo. Right at the Don's Beach Hotel, mm. I remember that, and then Neptune and Bent to the Beach and Eden Hotel. So he had about four nightclubs running at that time, and he needed a DJ, and I was there, you know. But before that, I tell you, actually, I DJ at Hotel Ranmutu. Where is Ranmutu? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, uh, where, where Ranmutu is, where the Hyatt is right yeah, now. Yeah, it doesn't oh, even really? exist anymore. Yeah, and that was the place called. It was called Boogie Wagon. It was Oof. run. It was run by a guy called Budja, who, who <laughs> was the late uh, Jaiwa. He was running Swanee Buttocks. Okay. And we were DJing on Revox turntables, you know, Revox spools yeah. then. It was that, and the Revox needle coming through it. Oh, wow. It was a very different uh, time. And then I got into working with Gabo, and then we got on the Citronic uh, turntables, which uh, we don't see anymore. And ba back in the days when you go for a disco or when you go for yeah. clubbing, you really dressed well. <laughs> They were in their best outfit. Yeah. Like no, and also, best. Dadu, you know, we introduced mobile discos into Colombo. Nobody knew what a mobile say. disco was, you know. Okay. And uh, where I'll come, hook up a mirror ball, put some bullet beans, get a helicopter, get a spiral flash. I don't, I don't think people know about those things even now. And it's a party. And it's a party. And I, I remember doing three, four a night, actually. You all had wow. a van. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so it, it, was a, it was a whole new thing. And let me tell you, it was, then it was 83, 84, 85, peak of the war, you know. Mm. And but we used to do more things then actually. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, there was more entertainment I'm, at I that think time. That's the you know? spirit of Sri Lanka. It's not what yeah. where it happens, they will and find a had, way to have You a had good the time. Blue Leopard. Yeah. You know, which was a great nightclub, you know, then of course then the library came and then of course then the blue elephant came. Mm. But before that you had the Semiramis uh, flame room and all those bars which were great bars to be at, you know. Excellent. All right. Now we are gonna get into a segment called One Word. We'll see you on the other side. Three, two, one, one word. All right, uh, just also want to say that Dinesh can cook really well. Minoli, his wife, can't. Yes, <laughs> clearly just can't. She doesn't even know where the salt is. <laughs> she doesn't know where the kitchen is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with one word, and I'm going to start with you, Dinesh, because you have been quiet. All right, uh, if you had to save only one person from a sinking boat, who would you save? Gehan Myself or Minoli? Myself is not a choice. No. <laughs> Gehan or Minoli? Yeah. Uh, Minoli, and if I save Gehan, I wouldn't be able to go home if she <laughs> saves herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your question number two. What would a world populated by clones of you be like? Close on me? Mm. It would be a gorgeous place. It's I was not expecting anything less than that. Okay. Top two things you love about Gihan. About Gihan? Yes. The fact that he's put up with me for uh, 15 years as a business partner. One. Oh. Um, the fact that um, he's still my friend. Kind of the same thing. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Um, Clearly there's nothing much. I wanted to ask five. <laughs> you would have been here the whole day. <laughs> it's okay. He's, he's, he's a good friend. All right. H2O Silk, out of these two brands that you killed, what would you like to re resurrect? Um, H2O. Okay. R&B, Chiller Room, Love Bar. 
where would you be throwing your party if you were not in this industry? If I'm not in this industry, where, where would I choose? I would have to say uh, RMB. I haven't uh, been to the other two places often enough to pass judgment on them. No reflection yeah. on what they are. All right. Now to you, Harpo. Jerry Jaisinghe Gabo, who was your favorite on the controls back in the days? Gabo, for sure. Ministry of Crab, Sugar 41, Par uh, Paradise Road Gallery Cafe. Where do you like to dine the most apart from your restaurants? Um, I would say, uh, I'm not saying because Gihan is here, uh, sorry, Dinesh is here, but I would say sugar is, uh, I would go to sugar, yeah. Okay. Rocco's, Arthur's, Michelangelo. Who does justice to pizza? Who does justice to pizza? Mm, that's a. Uh, I'm in the same business, so I, w I wouldn't be, you know, uh, trying to say anything bad about anybody's uh, brand for that matter, you know. I do think all do justice. Okay. I'd be nice to have them. Okay. What's something you really resent praying for? Praying for? I don't pray for, I don't generally, I mean, I do pray, but I don't, I don't, I, I pray not, not asking things. I never pray to ask things. You just pray? I just pray. I just thank uh, God for what He has given me and what I am today. I never ask Him for anything. Okay. Shalin Balasurya, Darshan Mudadasa, Akram Kazim. Who is your favorite neighbor at the Dutch hospital? Uh, for sure, Darshan Munidasa. He, okay. he and I finish a couple of bottles of wine and every time I see him. <laughs> so he's my favorite neighbor there. <laughs> Shalin's on the other side. Akram doesn't consume. <laughs> so it has to be Darshan Munidasa. Yeah. Okay, fine. Got you. Let's get into a break. On the other side, uh, we are going to speak more and also we need some glam on this show. Thank God. We will get it on the other side of the break. I'm sure you would have found a little place in Boralla, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've only been there once, unfortunately, and it's run by a gorgeous person at the same time. And it all falls in the month of August. We'll speak to Amrita on the other side. Hi, my name is Amrita and I'm from August. Every time I see Danu, his eyelashes are bigger and longer and I'm just in awe, because I'd like to say. to be here and hopefully Dana won't get me into trouble. There's so much of conversation happening off the camera recording time with these ones just reminiscing old times. So I just want to like quickly like wait when the cameras are on just talk. <laughs> Amrita thanks for being on the show. Well, I actually didn't here. think you'll make it. <laughs> but Why I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Shy you know you are. All right, so to start things off, what bonds the three of them together and many others who have joined uh, is, why don't you speak about it? You are the secretary to this, right? I'm the treasurer. My God, you have the money I, matters. Yeah, I hold the purse strings. Yeah. So it's quite a good position to be in. <laughs> so tell me, what is this? Um, um, so we, we're called the CCRC. Okay. Colombo City Restaurant Collective. And we've all come together to just make the industry a, a better industry for our clients and our country. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we have to come to terms with the fact that the same people rotate from restaurant to restaurant trying out food and like trying to get a good experience. But if the whole industry is suffering, where are these people going to go? And if the people don't come, what's the point? So how did you come up with this idea and what sort of made you all do this? Harpo, would you like to um, handle okay, that? Okay, um, so this actually came about before the 21st of April. Okay. So a lot of people thought that we kicked in after the 21st. But it actually happened, the initial discussion took place about three weeks before the 21st and it all fell into place because you know everybody was helter skelter after 21 four mm. you know it was business was you know crashing down yeah. and a lot of people had issues and so so we launched CCRC for that purpose was also not only for because the 21 four we had a broader agenda if I'm to say so you know <coughs> sorry uh, to uh, like Amrita said to create an industry which is in, on par with any other restaurant business in Singapore, or Malaysia, mm. wherever you want to talk about, you know, and uh, it also comes to do with dealing with government 
the UDAs, the yeah. Ministry of Finance, Approvals, you know, approvals. Yeah. And it's also having a having a dialogue with them because otherwise we were very alienated in the restaurant business. We were just okay, these guys are just restauranteurs, but they don't realize that we would employ more than five to ten thousand people in the restaurant business and contribute billions into the economy. Dinesh, I wanted to ask you. You know, in yeah. our in our Colombo, we see clubs opening <coughs> and closing, clubs renaming. Why is that? Restaurants do not go through that, but especially clubs. Do you I, people get I, tired? I think it's not only in this country. I think it's a um, it's a global it's, thing. It's, a, it's a global phenomenon because uh, uh, we are in um, we are in uh, the entertainment industry. Um, uh, by um, the true sense of it, it's um, what we offer is um, not substantive. Like you, you cannot put a you cannot quantify that, mm. right? So. It's a, it's a subjective uh, uh, form of um, appraisal that you get. Right. Uh, the same same restaurant that was considered superb yesterday by you, uh, I might walk in tomorrow and, and think, ah, oh, it's not for me. Yeah. Um, and might think that's not as good as the other place. Uh, clubs are even more fickle. Mm. Uh, so we need to um, uh, reinvent ourselves. Um, over a period of time, some do by changing the whole look and feel of the place. Um, but we constantly change uh, menus, we introduce things, take things out, just to remain current and mm. relevant. That's always a surprise. The business. And we are not the only ones. I mean, um, a restaurant in, in Singapore told me when um, I had this chat with him saying it might be a lot easier to uh, run a restaurant in Singapore. He said, for every two that you see opening, the six closing down. Whoa. I'm going to speak about something when we do come back. But right now, because all of these three people are from hotels and restaurants, they've tasted some of the best food. They get to choose their menu. They work on their menus. Let's put them to the test. I'm going to do my own blind taste test. Dinesh, I'll be worried if I was you. All right, it's time to do a taste test. And uh, of my s and collection at home, my Fifty Shades of Grey collective items downstairs in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found this blindfold, which I've never used, as you can see. It's just with the bent mark. <laughs> I built it in case some miracle happens. <laughs> All of us live in hope, darling. <laughs> They hope dies, you die. They I say, know, yeah. I'm just... You know, somebody can read it eventually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I'm sure my sister is digging the house up, trying to figure out where else do I have kept these. Okay. All right, now we are putting you to the test. As you can see, you have three boxes in front of you. Uh, I will need... Uh, Dinesh, I'll give this to you. Okay, use it and give what it to me carefully. Um, you wear this? Yes, I'm sure you know how to do it. No, uh, I, I don't think I can do this. Oh, my God. There you go. Now you have to take this out and eat take it. Take what out? I can't see what you're handing to me. Let me. Okay. Now okay. put your hand in. Put your hand in. Okay. Now eat it. Nothing it will happen. Feels like a potato. First eat it with you. <laughs> it's a raw potato. <laughs> Correct. Congratulations. You're very there good. There you go. <laughs> can you cook? Oh yeah, you can cook. Sorry, I forgot. Course, yeah. You want to eat? If Yan can cook, you can cook too. Definitely. Uh, he, uh, actually, talking about Yankee Cook, he gave me a knife, by the way. He has only made like some 1,200 of it. I own one of it. Well, can I see daylight now? Yes, you can remove it. Thank you. We're not doing the other things now. <laughs> <laughs> Just always into something dirty, this teenager. <laughs> You're the one. Just uh, asking me that. I'm can... being as cautious as I possibly could. That was not bad, eh? That wasn't very good. The skin uh, gave Amrita, it away. Okay. Help. Yes, of course. Uh, Harper, it's all yours. Um, Wait, Just wait, coming your way, one minute. Uh, to the left, half. There you go. Don't try to fiddle around. Just eat it quickly. <laughs> oh, he's terrified. What is mm -hmm. that? Nice. I'm pretty good now. Is there another piece in there? There mm. is. Oh, okay. no, I've <laughs> mm, I I had this before. I'm trying to get the name, mm. man. What is that? Can I can I see what it is? Oh, of course. Oh, it's my favorite. Actually. Yeah. Oh, Dinesh makes a good juice out of it, added sugar. 
correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Amrita, it's all yours. Okay. <laughs> Do I help her? Yeah. You can please. I love umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella. Yeah. Under my umbrella. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where? Okay. Oh. Inside. Her hands shaking. Ooh. Yeah. She's so scared. <laughs> 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 Uh, was this done on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It was a blind choice. You picked the wrong box, baby, or the right one. Cucumber. Correct. Yeah, I think you knew that before you. Came. <laughs> <laughs> Go with Had to make sure. No. Go with those nowhere close by. Yeah. <laughs> This show has become such an adult friendly yeah. kind of a show mm, right now. Yeah. yeah. Let's get into a break on the other side. We'll settle down without our Ambare Lagadias with more on David Donald. Just stick around. Welcome back to the show in conversation with gorgeous Amrita. There's Harpo and then there's Dinesh as well. Gorgeous. <laughs> on date, yeah. on date with Danu. Um, so Amrita, now you are in this industry, you, you run such a very cozy, comfy little place. Uh, it's very, very much cooked with love and it's never too crowded with people. You have always wanted it that way? Yeah, I mean, for me, it, it's, it's a passion. And um, I come from a legacy of cooks and we don't proclaim to be anything we're not. We just love food. Mm. Um, it doesn't show on you, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know what to say about that, but we, um, we're we cooking and we're eating, and um, August does get quite packed, actually. Yeah, I'm just when saying we, it's When that, we that first that opened, we had like queues of people wanting to come in. Correct, but the seats, you have kept it like Limited amount of oh, seats, yeah. yeah. It, it's um, a 40 packs restaurant. Okay. Uh, we have two seatings. And um, yeah, for us, it's the five class service, but um, what we aspire to is the five class service and food, but a homely atmosphere. Mm. So when people come in, they can wear whatever they want, um, just like we're inviting guests into our home, and that's the whole vibe mm. there. Mm. So it's very much like a family friendly, this is my table, come share some food with me kind right. of feeling. Uh, Harpo, now, we have seen restaurants come and go, yeah. but there's something very much so special about Commons. Have you been to Commons? Yeah, one of my first restaurants uh, yeah. as I came, to, uh, came back to Sri Lanka in 2005. You know, like, nothing ever changed at Commons. Like, those couches have been there, <laughs> yeah. it has always been it's in the same place. Yeah. But it has always been, like, yeah. the youngsters are always there. Yeah, just, what is it? Dano, if it just did it, that's the first homegrown coffee shop in the country. Mm. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. You know it's that. the first ever coffee shop in the country. Wow. Um, How many years ago was uh, that? I have it for 15 years. Okay. And it has been around for 22 years. Actually, mo before that, it was Mo and Pick ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, Commons is down there on Palamata. That's was. the place oh. I've been to yeah. first. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, then it moved to uh, Kfla Road and I had it for 15 years. Saying that, People go through those doors and come back with kids, and kids are married, and kids. Yes. Are, so it's be, it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a great legacy. I think throughout my Lionel went life. Yeah. I have come there after yeah. each performance. Uh, a lot of people hang out. So there, you've had it only for fifteen years. Somebody yeah. else did before. Yeah. So what I what, what happened was I, I was managing it, and then I uh, then I oh, acquired, right, then okay. I acquired the business. You know, but saying that people have gone through those doors. Yeah. Uh, children who have come from ladies' college. You now, for example, my daughter, she's been there. You know, she comes back, and probably when she has kids, her kids will be there yeah. as well. So it has gone through the ages and tested time. It's actually one of the only restaurants in the country, if I may to say so, where tested it. It's time because it went through from 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 the bad times as well. You know, when, yeah. when you're doing the war. During the war. And, you yeah. know, I'll never forget. You know, when uh, when we opened up, there was a huge bomb just across the, just down the road. You know. Oh yes. Uh, so so it has gone through its time and it has seen pe people have been there. They write books there. They yeah. talk about their plays. Some yeah. of them have it all there. So and we we open from breakfast uh, and it's a meeting place for mums and dads and you know. It's the best coffee thing. milkshake for me yes, at any It's been time. around for a long time and, yeah. and Kishani runs a great job actually. There's Let's go there and eat once, so all three yeah, of us. Actually we should actually. Oh, four of us. <laughs> four of us. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's get into our game called Charades. Let's play Charades. Alright, I'm just going to open it out and 
all of y'all can act or do whatever and I will try and guess. But there's like a horn that will go off the minute we exceed mm -hmm. time. The winner will get a prize. Okay. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Movie. Movie. Um, That's it? Yeah. Three words. Um, Second word. Poo -poo. Title. T. Break. Interval. Shut up. Time out. <laughs> what is it? Three words? Yeah, three words. Um, Harpo is quietly talking, but it's fine. Mm. Third word. Oh, that wasn't enough time. We need the the poo. poo. I was trying to get to poo, but yeah, the poo <laughs> I, was, like, I was told not to stand up. I was going to squat. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that kind so of a I was, poo. I was itching to squat. <laughs> I would have just said poo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would have actually said poo. Three words. Yeah. Poo, last one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bloody hell. Mm. I'm looking at Amrita because she's good yeah. at this game. She's I'm game. trying. Okay. Mm. Two words. Gym. Food. Food. Eating. Eating a lot. Lot. Fat. Obese. Second word. <laughs> that wasn't even 30 come seconds. On. How long was that? Uh, Plum do. pudding. How the hell do you get I to that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is easy. Plum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Scratch. Itch. Itching. What? What? Itchika milita. Which? Which? Done. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Did my itch help? <laughs> Eating witch. Uh, all right. Now we're giving you all the cards. Okay. I know. And uh, if my acting works, then whoever gets it first will win a gift. That's a gift the I was gift. talking about. Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have me Watch in a bow. Out. Just with a bow. <laughs> all right. Let's get into that. <laughs> Let's play charades! Alright, Amrit, I'm going to start with you because you're the most <laughs> helpful person in this game. Hold it up? Yeah. Oh. That's a good you got one. a patch on your eye? Patch? No. Pirate? Oh, well done! done. <laughs> Uh, no, you should applaud me because I gave her the right things. Yeah, She's the one who came up with the answer. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. So who gets the gift? Me. Don't get it to <laughs> saying I won that because I got everything right. No. And you might give the gift to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, the gift is just me. Oh. Okay, then Amrita, you can <laughs> have this one, we can go. <laughs> Alright, Harpo, it's not you. <laughs> ah, okay, that's easy. Bag? Mm -hmm. I, I like a like I have a sack kind of thing. <laughs> Jacket? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You were right, I almost there. It's a backpack. It's a backpack. backpack. It's just a backpack. Have a sack. That's yeah. A backpack, yeah, okay. Yeah. Have a sack, right? Okay. okay. No, you. I'll, I'll confess, I can see this because the light is right okay. in front of me. You know what it is. Now it's time we get into sticky situ. Sticky situ. It's Tiki Situ. Now, we speak about some important things on this show as well. Uh, something that I really wanted to bring is uh, bring to your attention is the fact that, okay, we went through a 30-year war, but you had clubs during that time, you had restaurants during that time, people existed, they ate, they drank, they did whatever. 
But the 21st attack changed a lot of things for us. There was a very much of an Im impact in the society and there was a fear to go out. What or where did the country's infrastructure collapse? Is it from the government or is it from the private sectors? Or do you feel that the government sectors didn't do much to help these individual restaurants sustain? Well, I think if the government was in a, uh, what's the word, unenviable situation, position, because uh, they, even if they wanted to help, right, the, uh, the economy was already struggling, right? So they, the help people wanted was in, in, in kind, in, in money, not in policy. Mm. So uh, a lot of people like we for um, the sugar restaurants and our affiliated ones. Uh, the biggest hit was like we thought um, there was a continuous um, uh, incoming flow of customers and then suddenly one day we wake up there's nobody at the door next day. So because the first hit is on cash flow. On those, we would have recruited more people, there would yeah. have been better yes. things on the menu. Yeah. 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 So then the government was basically being asked for a handout. Mm. And um, so if they, if they gave more handouts to the industry, I mean, in, in fairness to them, they've given a lot to uh, a, lot of, a lot of people. Uh, we personally didn't get any, <laughs> but uh, mm. some people have got it. But if they gave out, that would have been at the cost of something else from somewhere else, because they, they were struggling uh, with an already, yeah. Yeah. already tight economic situation. So you couldn't um, blame anybody for what happened, other than that it was a, it was a preventable uh, yeah. situation. Yeah. That is where, that is where blame should uh, yeah. Yeah. rest and lie. And that, I think, you know who is responsible for that. You know, yeah. sometimes that's what's annoying is now you spoke about, you know, how to get permissions or the permit or a liquor license. It's so hard. The process is just so... You see, if I have to say so, just talk about a liquor license. I think that was uh, the liquor act, if you want to call it the act okay. of the excess law was done in 1928. Mm. No. Isn't there a law that between two so, and five, no alcohol? Yeah, yeah. so you know, the, the, the all depends sure. on different licenses. FL11, FL7, FL21, you have okay. different different licenses. But I'm just trying to say, you just start from there. This is 1928, we are in 2019, that has not been changed, come on. That's a problem. <laughs> that is a fundamental problem here, right? Yeah. So what, what, what more, you know, the, our laws are so outdated, everything is so outdated. You know, talking of promoting tourism, man. Look at go across to Thailand. It's a Buddhist country, but see the way that the bars and restaurants they sell Thailand on that. I yeah. mean, our, our constitution has changed 19 times in 40 years. <laughs> that's right? yeah, the, the alcohol that's 50 percent of the years. Yeah. Every two years, they're like, no, no, let's so change it once the, more. The, the excise law hasn't <laughs> changed for a hundred years. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's how sad it is. Mm. I mean, if you look at, like I said, you know, why would you go to Thailand? Yeah. great shopping, great food, great spas, great uh, place of to be. Course, yeah. What are we doing? We need to go into a break because when we do come back, we're going to speak more about how this collective movement try and solve these kind of issues for a better day tomorrow. We'll speak more, of course. Do stick around. It's a date with On Date with Dano, we always do some homework, and I did take my time to go through their Facebook, found a few pictures. Now it's printed. Let's take a look at what's on their Facebook. All right, what's on their Facebook? Now, Harpo, you have, you have got this new look. You have always have your shades on top. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. It starts. Uh, but you had a little bit of hair at the tip of your head for a long time. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Where did you get that, man? Okay, can I have a look at that? Yes, there's only a little bit, like a mustache. Yeah, I get that. It was a tough. Like, so that was like the, the mouse. Oh, uh, yeah, but why? <laughs> I, that was the phase I went through, I guess, you know? Yeah, the tuft. Yeah. Just, yeah. just yeah. Like, like tinting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did your but wife like to just pet that part? Like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's so crazy. Yeah. Give it to the owner. <laughs> Give it to the owner. So, um, Amrita, this you look extremely happy in this photo. Oh, yeah. Of course, I know yeah, why. Yeah. When was this? <laughs> this was uh, January 2015. Oh, wow. You look the same. It was a month after I opened August, and um, 
Mark he, he came and yeah. it was just the yeah. most phenomenal thing for me. Mm. It was just yeah, he doesn't look so happy to see me. <laughs> he looks like a grand prix fan. But he always, always, that's fine. That's will, his look, that's his look. We will beat his, his profanity, and don't he worry. Drinks. He drinks, that's his look. Yeah. That's he's, his look, um, right? He's actually a real gentleman, he's a wonderful man. But We're Dinesh, I want to, to ask sick. you, are you in an abusive marriage? <laughs> Which way? <laughs> no, are you abused? I just want you can be honest. Not at with all. Us. Not, Not at all. all. A lot of people, a lot of people ask me this. Why? I don't know. There are we these kind of things that happen. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't I even call have that a bum. Abuse. I and you don't even have a bum. It's as flat as this table. <laughs> I wouldn't call that. You know, abuse. I've tried I'm, squeezing it a few times. If this is abuse, I'd rather nice get word. it done every day. I'd like <laughs> Look to have at a I, close up. <laughs> for what I feel is the fact that either she's searching for the bum. This <laughs> is I think she was trying to pick my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely shot. Yeah, I can remember yeah, that. Nice yeah, it is actually really nice. Um, now, there's a very special photograph, though. Uh, Dinesh and I have actually spoken about this. That's your mum. Yes, oh, wow. my God. Yeah, um, this is um, my mum uh, who passed away um, three years ago now. Yeah, mm. it's um, three years coming up this November. Um, we spoke yeah. about it while we were shooting for Down on Fire. Do you remember? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Iron Woman. She brought three children on her own. Uh, single mom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's amazing though. Amazing woman. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Just done great with the other two. <laughs> I know. Yeah, she got me perfect. Great with the other two. Yeah. yeah I was wondering what time you're gonna get back. <laughs> get back, hunky cat. Oh. No. What's who's that? Such a close bond between the daughter and the father. Oh. That's you. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Wow. When was that happened? Do you remember by any chance? You know, this is, I tell you this, I know, I remember this so very well. This was the 31st night. Mm. I just finished DJing at the library. Mm. It was six o'clock in the morning, and my wife and I used to live in the hotel, mm. and now she was just born, right? Mm. And she brought her down from the room because she had just woken up, mm. and she brought her to the library. If you can see, this is the library, the, the, oh, okay. at the, uh, the console. And she was just woken up, obviously. Oh, sweet. And uh, there I was, yeah. Oh, I love That's this That's fabulous. Photograph. Well, things Fantastic. didn't change much. This picture, <laughs> wow. if it was in the US, would have hit like a million likes in like a minute. It was such a cute picture. That is yeah. a cute picture. Yeah. yeah, it was so nice. It was, I think it was liked and commented so too many times. Yeah. It's coming up to be three years since oh, I walked it on the aisle, actually, yeah. for December. Yeah. Once again, bit I have to... A bit of Ray Charles, I guess. In this. Huh? A bit of Ray Charles. Yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Spot on. Yeah. Once again, I have to bring Dinesha's life into public eye. Yeah. I'm really worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What Very good knock your head. Let me, let me see this. I didn't knock my head anywhere, I think. They just fixed it. <laughs> no, we just... <laughs> I can't for the love of my life, but I, it wasn't an injury, I can tell you that much. I can't remember why we had this, maybe we were doing charades or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's one of those things, yeah. Amrita, I know you had a baby. <laughs> Just go in there by any chance. Does he try and do this with you? Oh, well, we've tried, we've tried, but and I'm not uh, as elegant as those women that you can see up there. <laughs> Look at that. Classic. I know, that's awesome. That's Classic. not Amrita, just to let you know. That's not me, that's, yeah, not, that's me. not her. But uh, yeah, he's fabulous. And um, Has he has he lifted you like this? He has, he has. We wow. do it, yeah. Wow. Terrible, I, try, I huh? warned Terrible. you. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's an old time. Oh, my good Lord. Please tell me that's a wig. Yes. No, man. Is this also you? Yeah, this is when I then I was <laughs> this is when I was DJing at Colombo 2000. Wow! wow. It was Colombo 1984, yeah, it was 85. Not 2000 then, yeah, it was 84, 85. <laughs> yeah. I yet remember this photograph. I just finished playing music that night, uh. and I have my friend of mine, and I started dancing on my own and feeling myself. Uh. Thinking, wow, you know. Dinesh, aren't you a sexy little poodle, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. Those arms yeah. out oh. and yeah, um, yeah, this is just as I came to feel like I could. Uh, wear these things and get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I was able to notice in this? I'm not being rude here, but you know those shots that you get when you're a baby? Mm. You used to have two circles though. Yes. Two, you fall under the two circles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because, yeah. I because don't know I whether fall children under one get... circle and now there's no circle. Yeah, when I was growing up, those were like horrible scars. Yeah, some they, had three. That's before you, your time. You, you live with them for the yeah. rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. I have like just one little dot, but the ones now mm. don't even have one. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, right? 
that shows your age. I just want to let you know. Maybe some foundation Thank next you. time. Uh, it, uh, this family picture, you really have to invest on some profile pictures. Actually, today we have Jonathan Studios. They'll take some nice pictures on you. This, this has, I think this is, uh, this is my family. That's yeah, uh, Oliver, Mino, oh, and I. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I never knew you could create something so cute. I uh, know. Yeah, it's 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 my looks. Basically. <laughs> um, Oliver has just. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think this is a really good photo. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Actually, yeah. very cute. Really but you have nice. used it like a million times because yeah. you have put all types of filters on it every three months. A cricket World Cup, <laughs> uh, stand for no, like no, this, tsunami relief, uh, uh, fight against this government. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this God. is no. This is this is my permanent. Want. Yeah. So I change my profile picture during according to what's going situation on. Situation in the country. Yeah. Okay. Aww. One picture with two Lovely beauties. Uh, that's my beautiful sister. I mean. know. It's yeah. y'all are so picture yeah. perfect. Oh, she's she's an interior designer. She's yeah. traveling all over the country. She, um, I never yeah, even yeah, see yeah, her yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. All right, the beach, Mount Lavinia. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna do the final yeah. picture because it's such a long one. So cute. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> That's, this was actually uh, quite accidental. We had a we had a costume party at for, uh, Forty One Sugar, and um, I, I went. Day? I actually bought this Elvis outfit online okay. and wore it, thinking nobody else would um, do yeah, that. Yeah. And I ran into Eric. <laughs> and Eric had the identical <laughs> outfit. It was one of those embarrassing yeah. moments. So we tried to make a more, uh, more best out of it. Uh, yeah. Best out of it and post together. How ironic is that? <laughs> All at the same. That face. Oh, That's yeah. Harpo and the fam. Yeah, that was uh, my 50th birthday. I'm going to give these to Harpo. These are actually your family pictures. I think we printed oh, a lot for you to take back home. Oh, uh, but Amrita, you. you're very quiet on Facebook, and I just don't know where to like. Amrita is very quiet. Yeah, shot, yeah. yeah actually, she's yeah. Well, I wouldn't say quiet. Nice just you know. Oh. Yeah, just warming up. Pensive. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So Thank before you. we go, uh, just to let everyone know, so if there is. Anyone who is out there who runs a restaurant or wants to open a restaurant and wants this committee to sort of guide them, support them. Yeah. So if I'm to chip in, you see, we are, we are, we are obviously open for, for people to come and join mm -hmm. our membership. Okay. Uh, we are inviting all restaurant owners uh, to come and be a part of the membership drive and come and come onto the uh, CCRC. Uh, core committee uh, onto the onto the restaurant thing okay. because there's a lot of things they can benefit out of this. Yeah, you know? and also yeah, just yeah. even though we call it Colombo City Restaurants Collective, it's also open to restaurants in the Dehivala Mount Lena municipality as well as the Kote municipality yeah. area. So okay. it's Colombo, Kote, and Dehivala Mount Lena. We just yeah. expanded our scope. Brilliant. And we also have a calendar of events which are planning to do for a year. So I think we, are, we we would like to have more owners coming on board and contributing to the to the industry for sure, and we will eventually like to take this right across the country at some point in time. Yeah. Amrita, thank you so very much for coming. We have to wrap things up on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, I know, I, I know that <laughs> we spoke a little bit, but it it's fun to know that uh, there's a great initiative, and I can't wait to go eat at August again, and we're going to do a feature. Oh, on you're it as welcome. Well. And uh, thanks so much for being here for thank taking you. the time. I know you have such a tight schedule. Uh, Harpo, I know you've got to run, but uh, you're always full of stories and so much to share and Thank always you. welcoming and Thank that's you, really, really special. Thank you. Uh, and Dinesh, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yes. looking forward to yeah. Down, yeah. The down at the attic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't with the yeah, 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 of course. Where is it? <laughs> I'm Rita, don't take it with you. <laughs> I didn't buy two, Oops. I just bought one. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's just, that's just for me. Anyway, you have cat track. Thanks for having us. We had a really good time. Thanks. Thank I was waiting for someone to say it. Was just yeah. thank you for inviting yeah. us to be on the show. Yeah, thanks. thank you. Thanks. Stop it, man. Y'all are done, right? All right, we need to wrap things up on the show. Before we go, big shout out to our friends at Mo and Pick Hotel for their hospitality always. Lovey for dressing me and making me look so much better than everyone else who is in this show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, number three, Jonathan Studios, the best place for that perfect photograph. I'll always love working with them. Until we see you with another brilliant episode, you keep smiling, it's wrap. Heart was empty, the cupboard was bare. I said, Papa, what's the matter here? I'm waiting, son.